Hey, good afternoon. Hey, Welcome to the Phil Crew Show. Do you know what? I am actually really excited and honoured to be actually be able to introduce you to this lovely gentleman here. Oh, I have been waiting for. I've been so so patient with being able to. I know it's been hard. Um, no, been able no, to no. try and balance things out with things, but I've been really patient, and I've been. I feel really honoured once again to introduce you to to Danell. Oh my goodness, Danell! You know you're not you're not just a business guy. I know that for a fact. Uh, Danell Morgan, uh, Morgan here. What I'd like to explain to you guys. Uh, before um, I ask him some questions, some great uh, powerhouse questions here is um, is that he's not just a business guy; he's also an MC. What a talent! Goodness me, business and music. Now, what is your what is your journey, uh, Donnell? You know, just to introduce you to the, the Bill Crew Show, uh, Donnell Morgan. Everybody, hello, people. Hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, basically, I'm a musician. Um, I've been doing music for 20 years now. And I also help people, I've been doing for the six years, helping people to get more health conscious within themselves. So I'm making to realise what's priority in life and putting yourself that uh, has no, know their self-worth and to believe in themselves and elevate themselves to where, where, they, where they need to be. Oh, wow. You know, then... There must. So, what's your backstory? How did you manage to get into into um, to business, and and then afterwards, you know, um, was, it, was it the other way around? Was it did did you get into business first? Was your did you always have an entrepreneurial an entrepreneurial vision, or was it music first? How at what way round was it? It's always music first, but you know when you yeah, everybody's a like a student of life. We always learning lessons and learning from them. So I was always doing music, um, putting music first before everyone. So before ravers. So I'm going to entertain, and I'm going to after parties, and I'm going to next after parties, and I'm and I'm thinking, okay, I need to stay awake, um, drink Red Bull. Um, I was addicted to Pole Plus as well. So that that was that was my uh, my cycle. Um, way back, my mindset was different, um, and then basically it just started to build up. And two, um, things things started to um, hit the fan light. I nearly lost my life, not taking my health seriously. So when you're out there as a musician, you're out there, you're just eating fast food. You do you do your set, fast food. <laughs> you're not you're not really maintaining. You're not really fueling yourself wisely. You're just thinking constantly on the go, on the go. And yes, it's a knock on effect. And from from that, I believe that I'm here for a purpose. I was brought back for a purpose because. I have uh, made an impact in so much people's lives. I get so much messages from people telling me I'm helping them to keep going, believe in themselves, look at their situation from a different angle. And it's wow. amazing. No, it's, it's, it's great to hear that little sort of backstory from yourself because I know there's always reasons to, you know, back forward track to where you are now because, you know, sometimes people think, oh, you know, this these people that come onto my show, you know, that there, there's always got to be a backstory and it's good to hear these stories like people like yourself, because there's always a purpose. We always yeah. have a purpose for something, you know, that we get driven to do to, to, to keep us going to what we're doing now, you know, and the other thing is what I wanted to ask you is because so I never answered your question properly though. You no, asked me about uh, so basically, from the business point of view now, from the products, um, I was very sceptical. But how we found the business, me and my, my, my partner, my fiancé, um, yes. we went three miscarriages in a row. Um, so basically, that's that's where it started from. It wasn't looking for no, wasn't we'd know about this business or the products. Um, wow. So basically, um, I wasn't happy. I was, I wasn't happy as as you imagine. I was emotional. I was working, temp, just trying to keep myself busy. Um, the way the way I I channel it, I just channel it into my music. Everybody channels it differently, into alcohol, into hard drugs. But I channel it into my music because I'm a songwriter. Um, so basically, I put that pain into music, and then the outcome to help people enjoy themselves. So I put it as a positive, a negative into a positive, um, and that's what I would say. Um, from the business point of view, I was very skeptical. 
as you know, us men tend to be skeptical when you see like things looking that ain't gonna work because the way we actually pro conditioned from young, go to go to go to school, go to college, all the kind of things there, go go work and everything's everything bees and knees, but it's not, <laughs> it's not. When you're working with someone permanently, you, you, you're constantly asking, can I get time off to do this? Can I get time off to do that? End of the day, working, you need to, you need to provide for the, the bills and, and basically be able to um, live your life. But end of the day, it's putting yourself first. It's important. Yes. And from the business point of view, it's all about stories. When you listen to stories, you relate to it. Um, I was the kind of person, I was basically listening to some stories. I, was thinking, well, I couldn't really relate to certain stories. But when I heard one story, don't know if you heard of his name, Alex Webb, West in Paradise. Um, he was told from young, um, basically, he's not going to amount to nothing. He's not going to reach that age. You know what I mean? So that literally, that kind of woke me up. I was like, okay, I can see the bigger picture now. And I said to my partner, now she's already in the business, isn't it? And I said, okay, I, now I can see that. Now I can see the potential. I can see the potential because I can relate to the story. You see what I mean? So when you yeah. come at the story, you can see that, okay, if, if he can do it, I can do it. Yes. So, so what happened, I got an email that I'm on, I'm on new, <laughs> I'm part of the business. I went, wait there. I thought she was doing them, Amazon. I thought that like, surprised me. I was thinking, wait there. So you asked me for them details <laughs> to sign me up. And I'm grateful for it because I've been doing it for six years and I've made an impact to so much people's lives. I've got a mum and dad in the business. Um, got my cousins in the business. So a lot of people like um, inspiring them. And, and every time I do it, I'm always thinking out of the box. How can I inspire someone to not give give up and throw the towel in? That's every day. Uh, that's every great. Day. That's great. You know, I I'm all for people that find different ways to support their family and themselves because I don't think that. Everyone seems to feel that you should have to conform to yeah. the old school ways where everything has to be done in a particular way as if it's like a textbook where yeah. I mentioned this to numerous guests before in the past, getting married, buying a house, the car, buying something new that, that's materialistic that has no sense of value in terms of being able to be used as often as it should be and lastly or should I say I'll I'll retract that back actually that's second to none paying your bills definitely and definitely. all those things I mentioned I think it's good to have a, to have an insight of what could be possible you know and having an option because having options you know that can have that can monetize you know things that you're doing you know the, the 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 good thing about it with with it most type of businesses that you're you're involved in and the business that you're involved in and even other things that other people that i know that they're involved in whether if it's um health fitness and finance uh anything like that and it's got a product that can enhance your health and the, the, that will live about your life and even um, make a living out of it at the same time you know for for bettering your health you know in in that in that case but I also also understand that it's also good to go out there and search not just search but also make sure that you make sort of be, uh, make a decision uh, through you know getting more information you know because sometimes I've come across this and you probably have in the past you do become skeptical, you know, I, you can't, you can't really deny that, you know, because there's been a lot of others where they try to replicate similar yes. things, but they replicate maybe a different value in terms of what they want from you and what you can, what suits you, uh, what suits them, you know, if you're the right type of person that suits your business, which I like, you know, you, it's good to have a business that you feel that you're being able to have someone that actually suits each other and complement mm -hmm. each other rather than have someone where you feel that I've come across it before with businesses where they they'll try and approach you in an 
indirect way yeah where yeah. you ask them a question and then they'll sidetrack the other uh, with a different answer where you think well you haven't actually answered my question you've just gone around it and and not really answered it and i thought well hmm, hang on am i am i going to entrust this but then when you see it from another perspective as well because obviously my background is sales yeah past in past tense people have a script but that script doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that you're going to utilize that script it's a guidance you yeah, know that... you can go outside that isn't it it's a, it's it's more of um any a little insight of what you're doing but then after that the um majority the higher percentage of that is your personality definitely definitely because that's why a lot of people tend to think if you're buying a product and people think oh they're going to buy it cuz it does this, it does that. Yes, that helps. The product has to have number one functionality, yeah, and then second to none is how the person presents it with it because then it creates a bigger impact. If you get the right person and you've That's got the right product, yeah. you've got a not you know awesome combination, then more, more likely to get a higher result and a, a better outcome from it rather than someone that thinks that. They're going to sell something to you because they want to take the money off you, which is part of business. But at the yeah. same time, if you've got the wrong approach, they're more likely to say, "No, nah, I'm not interested." Because you know what it is? It's a bigger picture what I'm doing. Like yes. I believe it's a bigger picture because I'm actually making an impact in people's lives around the world, of course. Mm -hmm. and giving people the extra push to know that okay, I can get myself on, on track. I might be not at where I need to be at the moment. But end of the day, yeah, it's not a, it's not a race; it's a marathon. Yes, true. You know I mean, so literally, that's that's what people need to understand. And when um, I'm trying to let people, what more kings like ourselves aware, stop keeping things to yourself because I know that's a lot of men trait because that's what we're taught to do. Like, oh, I don't show you weakness, all the kind of things. There, it's like I'm trying to like, inspire them to like, you know what? We need to start talking to each each other more, yes. uplifting each other because the, the the women do it. You know what I mean, but end of the day, it's just women. Um, men tend tend to find it hard because they think it's weakness, but it's not. You know what I mean? Because end of the day, yeah, we're only here for a certain amount of time, so we have right. to just make it count. Make it count. That's why I'm on the mission to um, build a global army around the world. Um, disabilities, whatever nationality they are, and um, to help them to have longevity with their families, and also um to be able to pass it on to their families, because this business is also willable as well. It's 52 years old. Um, the products are over 42 um, met, met, um, researched. So so based, there's a lot of things going in. So the company actually wants to inspire people to take, take their health as priority. Because at the end of the day, we need to have fruit and veg in the system. So all it is fruit and veg encapsulated in capsules. So basically it's harvested, Picked at the right, the right temp, the right um, when it's right, taken to a factory and it's closed in vegan capsules and the water and sugar's taken out of it. It's just natural and um, bioavailable, goes straight into your bloodstream and gets to work. What I mean by bioavailable, your body recognizing what you're inputting in your body. Yes. So when I was before um, I was on this products, I was on muscle or muscle mass and the kind of things there. And it wasn't really doing nothing, it was the same as the toilet or spots on my back, spots on my face. Why? Because it wasn't natural, I was putting in my body. So when you put nothing natural in your body, your body recognizes it. There's no medical claims, but everyone's got different bodies and every, get different results. That's what I tell anyone. Because at the end of the day, it's just plant-based. No, 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 I, I appreciate that. The other thing is as well, what I want to mention is We've covered quite a lot in in the short period of time, which I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. Because usually, <laughs> with some interviews, it's uh, it's a documentary. <laughs> with myself. But we 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 can go on to sort of another time with this as well with other. But the other questions that I like to ask you, actually, which is pretty important, is if you was to have just to throw you off track slightly, apart from business and music, this is a sort of more of a less personal thing. Yeah, uh, it's a bit of fun here, Donnell. Okay. Is um, if you was to have a superpower, what would you have? If you had any choices, you can have more than one superpower. It doesn't have to have one. You can be one of these sort of multi 
uh, phenomenal sort of super being and uh, why would, uh, what would you use it for and why? I would say Magneto because he, he, he reads people's minds in it. So when people are keeping the things to, to behind to themselves and putting on that brave face, he come up around wider face. You know what I mean? It's literally the putting on, on that brave face where I can hear what they, that, that, that they're struggling and I'll be able to help them people more than them giving up on themselves. But it helps you, it starts in the mindset. When your mindset gives up, everything, everything gives up in your body. I noticed that on the X-Men that they're both, uh, they both can uh, can actually read each other. The, um, you've got with like you mentioned Magneto, and then you've got Xavier. Both of them together, they can read each other because uh, yeah. for some reason, even though he's got he can lift things with his, you know because of his magnify everything with his with, uh, like being a giant magnet, mm. but he can also have the extra. Sort of extra the leverage that he's got he can have that kind of power of being able to use his mind just like like um xavier but yeah no that's that's great <laughs> I, just, what I had to think great. about i'm just thinking about what i'm trying to achieve i was thinking exactly. what kind of, what kind of uh, related to yeah. yeah i like i like that i like that the the actual other question as well that i like to ask you as well if you had an opportunity and a chance just like this right now and you didn't have to think about anything at all and you just packed your bags with your fiance and children and said yes. you know what we're going to go to here and this is what we're going to do where would it be and why would you do it um that's the trick i want to be in jamaica that's the only place i've kind of been so that's a tricky nice. one um, <laughs> very yeah. nice yeah, um, I like that. I like that. Somewhere hot. I like. I like hot places. Somewhere hot. Somewhere hot. I've already been to Jamaica. I want. I want to like border, border, and border now. Our traveling yeah. as well. Go other places. Yeah. No. Good. On, no. No. Good on you. And the other question I would like to also ask is that: Is there, without having to be, um, biased? Because obviously I like Filipino food because I've got a Philippine origin, but yeah. I also like. Thai food and uh, Jamaican food. Okay. I must admit, you know the. Oh my goodness, it it's just something else. You know, <laughs> you you can't. Some people can't explain it, but but with myself, it's just gives you that excitement in your taste buds. The moment like I, I it touches my tongue, I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know why, but for some reason, um, my taste buds must have obviously changed. You know, because obviously with the type of food that I've eaten over the years, yeah. I used to have a bit, I have a sweet tooth, but for some reason now I've got more of a savory taste, you know, like a sweet and sour kind of yeah. thing. I'm yeah. on that level now where I can't just eat sweet. I have to have something with a savory to I don't know what most people say, why would you say that? I think isn't that I don't know if you would believe in it yourself, but I think every few years your body alters, it changes the way it feels every five years or something like that, where, you know, your taste buds might change, your behaviour might change, your diet might sort of go from, I'm really healthy to, I need to maintain that, <laughs> to, oh, I've gone down here slightly it, and then gone up again. You know what it probably is? It's, it's surroundings. It's your surroundings, basically. What, what, you, what you're surrounded by, you start thinking like that, you start doing things like I'm from an back. I'm a bad, um, bad background. I had to turn my life around. You might have seen my dad say on a, a memory post I shared today that he's watching me turn my life around for the better. Um, yes. Literally, yeah, that's what it is. But if you don't, like, when you're young, you don't realise it's, it's surrounding. It's like you're thinking everyone's, everyone's probably thinking, nah, you need to be around people that are uplifting you and actually motivating you on a daily basis. Okay. Because think about the terminology of being around six six apples, yeah, rotten apples, and you're the yes. fifth one. So if you're the fifth one, you're gonna be you're gonna be that same mentality. If they're thinking positively, you're gonna be thinking, okay, I can do this. But you got all the friends saying, I don't think you can do this, Kareem. You know what I mean? I don't right. think I don't think you can do this because they can't see themselves doing it. 
You know what I mean? That's yeah. why I stand by my, my my brand, why the face? Because it's literally to show people I can be whatever I want to be. Yeah. Kids yeah. at school getting bullied, they can show the bullies that I'm coming to learn, I'm coming to excel, why the face? You know what I mean? And my other, other part, music. Yeah. I just keep shocking people because I come with different things. I don't yeah. with every everything, every what everyday artists come come with. I come with my own style, my own concepts. You know what I mean? So literally, um, it's all about being yourself, and that's what I'm hundred percent being. No, I like, I like, I like that. the The other thing is, as well, is if you had a choice to have a meal with someone, would it be historical, or would it be someone a relative, relative that you knew, or good friend? Um, you know, in regards to um, choosing a restaurant, you know, and where would you eat, and what would you talk about? Um, that's a tricky one, you know. Um, trying to think. Are you liking these questions? <laughs> this that that one's got me stumped. Um, let me try to think. <laughs> Sorry what do you think of the question, though? What do you think of the question, though, Danelle? Yeah, it, it, it is deep, still. It is deep. Just to think of who you would sit down and what restaurant you'd go to. Um, well, from an entrepreneur kind of background, it's, it's still, 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 still on Mother Earth. I'd say leave my roots. Leave my roots. Sit down in his in his restaurant. Wow. That's what I'd say. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. What would you talk about? We'll talk about music and generally just um, the journey to just try and wait, await people, man. Like, yeah, think about things in, in a positive um, outlet and stop making people condition your thoughts and, and entirely condition your thoughts. Yeah. No, 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 that's that's good. Um, in regards to sort of also the personal development side of things, because I'm 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 a good I'm a big big or should I say massive fan of personal development. That's part of my yeah. background, which I love to sort of, because you mentioned a, pro, a part um, in mentioning business entrepreneurship and yeah. mindset. Now having sort of that mindset, what would you say to your younger self? Uh, if you was to give a little bit of advice to your younger self right now, what what would you say to them? Um. My younger self has stop, stopped trying to get in the game too fast. That's why when people meet me, generally, I just, I'm, I'm just a humble person. I treat you how you treat me. I'm an energy person. That's what, that's, that's what I, am, I am. When you see me in person, that's what I am. It's basically, um, talk generally as, as, as we do. Don't think I'm better than no one. I'm just me. But I know when I, come, when I do music, I just be me and no one else can be me. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, that's the way I look at things, really. No, oh, brilliant. No, I I like that. What would you sort of give advice to sort of anyone now? So my younger to... me, oh, so my younger me. So I just yeah, <laughs> I never yeah, yeah, the, the, question. Younger the younger me, I would say, um, stop procrastinating. Stop um, thinking that you're not going to be um, successful. You know what I mean? Cause that's, that was me. I was thinking I'm not gonna be enough successful. Why? Because my teacher, one of the teachers said I'm not gonna amount to nothing. Keep saying it every day. I was thinking, okay, maybe he's right. You know what I mean? When you hear it every day, you know, like, oh, maybe he's right. I'm not gonna amount to nothing. I might as well just do crime. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? think the bad. I think in the bad way and also the good way. On the flip side, I, I kind of felt from my own personal experience, just to mention it to the audience out there, even like when we're touching that subject that you mentioned, you're absolutely right. Yeah. But also, you also, you're, you're right, regardless of what you think. Because some people, just to reiterate this, if you're going to say, I can't do this or I won't, you're already telling yourself you're right, because whatever answer you give yourself, that's the right answer. So mm -hmm. you're like a sponge or a satellite absorbing this information. So if you're telling your brain to say, I'm not going to do this, you're already allowing yourself 
you're restricting and stopping yourself from doing it because you're already telling yourself that. Whereas if you're saying, well, I want to do this, it's down of, because you feel reluctant, don't you? You, you feel, you think, mm, hang on a minute, I'm apprehensive about this. Rather than having a positive vibe or less apprehension in what, wanting to do it, you're telling yourself, no, nah, I don't want to do it. Because you don't feel that you want to do it. But if yeah. you're telling yourself, oh, I want to do this, do it. Because yeah. otherwise yeah. you're just contradicting. You, like I said, it's either way, whatever you say, because some people get get confused here. And they say, what do you mean by that? I said, well, you're the one ma- means, um, making that conscious, uh, conscious decision. Yeah. Because you're saying no, obviously you're going to go with a no. But if you say yes, you're going to do that as well. So there's no yeah. wrong answer. You're yeah. right either way you think. So it depends on which one that they say, isn't it? Like they metaphorically speaking, when they would say the mythology of it, of a wolf. You know, yeah. you got you got the spiritual sort of good ethical wolf, and you got the one that wants to tear into everyone and just eat them alive. Yeah. Which yeah. one are you going to feed? Yeah, yeah. I'd say the so spiritual even, one. I'd say the spiritual one, seriously. It's yeah. true, isn't it? You're going to go to that one that you're going to, whichever one you're going to feed is the one mm. that ends up happening. Because the more yeah. you feed to that, that's what happens. And I think sometimes, you know, we, because I'm not saying you have to be deep, but to sort of put it on a level plane, regardless of what we think, it's always going to be that result. It's going to be the same because you're not that's- going to, you're not going to think, if you're saying, oh, oh, well, I did something wrong, I said, well, if you're going to do repeat the same thing, you're not going to be wrong because you're repeating the same <laughs> thing. You can't expect a different yeah. result and then, yeah. oh, if I don't change it, if I change it, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then, yeah. obviously, if you change, something else is going to give and it changes. So yeah. I think yeah. sometimes we overthink things rather than realize it's like the same as engineers. I've noticed this. Um, instead of going by what is simple we overcomplicate things by the technicalities rather than the simple parts of Mm -hmm. what we should be doing you know and i think the best thing is to be able to sort of got like to make to make a conscious sort of right decision is to get more information i mentioned this to another uh coach that i was uh, like a wealth coach i was speaking to uh, a few weeks ago and he was doing a live as well and when i when i um, mentioned it um he said well no you're right you know because nobody is gonna be able to take control of that decision apart from you it's only you can do that you know and also this blaming business as well and i think to put in the right mindset as well and being mm-hmm. able to be not just in business but also in your personal life and you merge that together and having I totally agree with you when it comes to the environment of people it's nothing better knowing that you're in the right environment and surrounded by those type of people because when they yeah. always say they always say this if you want to reach at this level with these sort of people you're holding yourself back by not being able to learn from those who are already doing it or who have done it yeah yeah. You know, rather than someone that says, oh, okay, I've just, I haven't started yet, but I'm telling you this is how it's going to be. I thought, well, hang on a minute. You're telling me this, but you haven't done it. Whereas like yourself, you're already doing it. You've yeah. done it. Yeah. You're experiencing yeah. it. So you, all you're doing now is trying to pass over something that you've got that food for thought and knowledge. Definitely. that wealth of experience to somebody else which is great because that's what we should be doing you know passing on something positive um and also not just the, the positive part but also um getting something out of it you know in in aspects of other areas i think it's not always down to money that's involved in it i think it's there's so many different aspects other factors that are involved in these, in these type of businesses because of, I think a lot of people tend to get sidetracked by oh I'm gonna all of a sudden it's a um, what they call it they they call it a these days a uh, get quick you know rich scheme which 
no, right. it's not for you. If you're going to think you're going to get rich quick, it's not for them. You have you have to initially have with these type of businesses, especially the one that you're involved in, you have to go through a process. Yeah. Processes, you know, where you get like with any business, you get your highs and your lows, you know, and then and then you get these other experiences. And then if it suits you, I think it's good that you're doing that because you have to be careful, even as yourself, you know, being involved in the business. Yeah. Who you choose to be part of your business too, which affects you. Definitely, definitely. I would say if you're not passionate generally about helping others, you can't go forward in this business because you have to be passionate about helping others and secondly, teachable, as you touch, touch bases on. Um, so if you're not them too, with this business, you get a lot of self-development. I can safely yeah. say that. Yeah. Self-development, that you work on yourself, you work on your own you. So that person when you was that last year, the more you're surrounded by people that are like-minded and driven, the more self-development you have um, and more self-belief in yourself. Because right at the back now, I'm on, I feel unstoppable in the team, feel unstoppable because why? We know the bigger picture. We know our journeys of inspiring people to continue theirs. You know what I mean? Even people struggling right now in the comedy crisis, extra income between 200 to 300 pounds, it helps. Definitely. You know, you know what I mean? So literally, um, to be able to help somebody to be their own boss around the world is an amazing um, feeling. Um, and when I connect with people online, actually going for certain things, it's um, it's good to know that I've actually kept them going in life, like not yeah. going, driving, succeed. Even if they're in the situation right now, but they come to me with confidentiality to talk keep that between them and me and them but end of the day they, they leave and go you know what I enjoyed that conversation I went mean, no worries I'm always here and I've got time I know I'm a busy guy but when I've got time I'll respond to it it's not a problem you know what I mean so that's the thing I've heard people I've had a lot of people say to me yeah, there must be there should be more kings like me in the world I went there probably is you know but you know what I mean it's like as you as he says like when you got the mindset say okay I don't think I can do it when I first joined this business, there's a lot of women in this business. And I was like, oh, I just went apart and do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just sitting back and watching and taking notes and watching yeah. and taking notes. Yeah. But I said, you know what? Something snapped to me. I went, let me just put a pin post and share my story. Like, I know I'm going to be nervous about sharing it, but I, I, might be, I might be able to inspire a next king who's, who's struggling right now in the world if they read it. You know what I mean? So... That's why I decided to share my story. It took a lot of years for me to share my story um, because I thought, oh, it feels like I'm, it's a weakness. So I'm telling yeah. people my story. Uh, from my story point of view, I've had six miscarriages. One with my son's mom, five with my fiance. So I think about how mentally it, it wow. affected me as a creative as well. Uh, I wanted, at one time, I wanted to leave the world because my, because my daughter, such Jazara. I wanted to actually leave the world. I didn't want to be here anymore. That's how deep it I went into a deep, a deep place that I was struggling to get out of. Um, because I, I love my music, I decided to write it, write, write, write into my music and put that pain into my music. You know what I mean? So yeah, I would say definitely it's a mindset as well. But that's why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing because it's more than the money. Yeah, the money comes in, comes in handy. But end of the day, when you got residual income, so you can get paid yeah. while you're sleeping from different countries by actually helping someone to start their journey who's suffering with diabetes, help them to produce the insulin, yeah. you know, help them to um, go for the anxiety. They've got ADHD kids. I've got yeah. in my in my team, I've got ADHD uh, business partners, but they're sharing their story, inspiring others. Um, so it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things that we don't realise that people go through, um, and that's what keeps me going. It keeps me going. That's, that's that's amazing. You know, I've you know with with the stories I've heard and even like yours, it's it's brilliant what you're doing to keep going because you know um, a lot of the time people think oh it's all about business about music. No, everyone has a story to tell. And there's always sort of questions. The reason why I have the show is yeah. to 
but I mention this to most of the guests that I've, I've, I've had on the show, is that is to not just help inspire, but to also filter out to people uh, that, okay, you may not be like an A-list actor or a football player or a sports personality or anything like that, or an author, but, you know, those people that are doing something with themselves, like yourself, that have turned yes. your life around, that is also regard, regarded as a form of success. Mm -hmm. Success doesn't have to be monetary or you, you're having, um, be, or being a public figure. You know, yeah. it, it, success I see in my own eyes and through other pe most people's eyes, uh, just to put it out there to the audience, I would say is that number one, you're still here. You're alive and you're lucky to be yeah. here. Yeah. Secondly, you know, to be able to help others, you know, like they call it, pay it forward or play it forward or play it however you want it, pay it forward or play it forward, however you want to word it. You're yeah. helping other people, you're passing on stuff, you know, to, to help them. And then if you don't know the answer, most of the time, I probably know someone that knows someone that knows the answer to something or to even help them. Because, you know, that kind of, I've been fortunate to be able to network with people where I didn't even realise um, that I actually knew before I knew then. I mentioned to you off, off the yeah. video, you know, some the, the, the other guest that I spoke to is um, three times um, British, champ uh, bod British champion bodybuilder. And it was actually his nephew that I knew several years ago, even before I knew him. Saying, How ironic yeah. is that? Our small world. And universe, you know, isn't it? this is what I mean. And even like with yourself, you know, later on, someone might know me that knows you in the music, with yeah. your music. <laughs> And they'll say to me, oh, yeah, you know, Donnell. And I'm like, I said, I thought, how do you know Donnell? And they'll say to me, oh, how do you know Phil? And then, then when you look, you expand out through, it's like another form of LinkedIn, but without having to, to, to emphasize the LinkedIn. You know, you're linked in some way or another through someone else without even realizing that it's strange how the, uh, the world and um, the way life um, operates and presents itself. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would say, um, from another point of view, I like to make um, as an artist, I care about my supporters. I'm a kind of person like basically, I want them to have longevity in their lives and their family. You know what I mean? So, I know some artists. I'm not going to name no names. Some mm. artists want to just want to get that quick, quick, quick sponsorship and whatnot. Um, think about it like this. Right, it's not a good feeling seeing that because what's going to happen to the fans in the long run? True. You know what I mean? They rate that person, but they're not giving the insides, the white, the white things. But the cause lover, they like, they like that person that's an idol to them. They'll follow them. You know exactly. what I mean? So yeah. I, I don't understand how that works. So I'm saying if I get to a certain level, I'm going to enhance this to help more people yeah. around the world. You know what Followed I mean? Followed by get example. To, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. end of the day, yeah, I care about them. It's not because I'm performing to you and not caring about your well-being as well. I'm, 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 I'm performing to you and I'm caring about your well-being and I'm, I'm caring about you remembering the set that I'm performing on. Oh, no, that's, that's no, amazing. Okay. Right, Danelle, just what I'm going to do is, like a, I've said to many guests before you and even as yourself, I'm, I'm really, really honoured that you actually came onto the show Oh, it's been an emotional journey and no doubt we'll probably cross paths again off the, off the camera and yeah. have a catch up on uh, other areas of what you do. And no doubt that's what we'll be, we'll be doing in the foreseeable future. And I just want to wrap things up and just also um, thank everyone else out there for when you do get onto the show and listen out for what um, Danelle has to say as not just a musician, um as an artist but also as a business person it's been a pleasure having you on the phil carew show um, oh, just uh off the cuff and um, for 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 the, for the uh, foreseeable future and even present time when you actually see the actual episode of uh Danelle and myself discussing uh the actual topic of business and also um working life and his music please don't forget to subscribe down below here along <laughs> underneath this video here.
and I'll also add on some information in regards to what Donnell's uh, doing as well from his information that he's got. So I will attach that at the bottom here for the information that we've got uh, under this episode that we're doing. Thank you very much once again, and I, I'm really honoured to have you on the Phil Carew Show, Danelle, and no doubt you'll probably be on again uh, in discussing other areas and other topics uh, yeah, on the Phil Carew Show. No problem. Thanks very much, bro. Have yeah. a good one. Well, it's been a pleasure. Care. Have a good one.